parchment. Oh. All right. Hello, y'all. Right. Thanks for coming out tonight for Community Cooking with the Co-op, starring Josie Keating from Josie's Art Lab. Um, I'm Paul Addis. I'm a librarian at the Coos Bay Public Library. Um, with me tonight, we have, of course, Josie Keating, as I mentioned, plus Tim Bolster, the outreach coordinator at the Co-op, and Alan Bartles behind the camera, our awesome video cameraman. Thank you, Alan, as always. Um, and with that, oh, and if you guys... Um, have any questions throughout, feel free to respectfully unmute or to put your questions in um, chat and I'll feed them to Josie and Tim. But with that, let's go ahead and get started. It's all yours. Okay. First, heat up those ovens. If you didn't hear, Paul, thank you for telling everyone. If you didn't hear, heat that oven up to at least 450. I always do 450 because my oven cooks hot, but you know, I, I heat, I'm heating this one up to 480. Hot and fast. Okay, so 450, okay. 480. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to start with our cauliflower. Nice. And we're going to floret it. We're floretting the cauliflower. Floretting it. All right. Is that a thing? Uh, well, it is now. It is now. <laughs> it is. I'm curious how okay. you'll do this. I've never seen oh. it. Teach me. <laughs> you have, oh, how do you cook cauliflower? Well, I don't know. Maybe florets just a fancy word. But let's see Isn't what you do, and I'll let you know if this is <laughs> like broccoli florets. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh. Maybe you've been floretting all this time, Tim. Yeah, you, I think, yeah. I knew more than I realized. I, <laughs> I learn a lot at community cooking. You can see too. Fancy words. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just peel all this stuff off. Okay, now. I don't know if we have an overhead. What's our what's our state our word code it's word? It's been avocado. Code word avocado. <laughs> avocado has been our code word for switching cameras. We have, we're, <laughs> actually, we're not crazy. using avocados in this. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easier. <laughs> that helps. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> I turned my cauliflower upside down and just cut some of those heavy leaves off, mm -hmm. and now I'm diving in. Cut from the bottom. I cut from the bottom, and uh, they come off in, in florets. Florets. I thought oh, that, okay. I think that's what they're called. Nice. That's okay. As we established last time, I like to make up words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I could be wrong. So I'm just diving in and cutting the stems oh, see. as close as I can. That's a good technique. You're just well, aiming for you. every little, like, individual floret, and you're just cutting or them off. some. You know, when it, when it gets up there, I, I'm getting some littler pieces. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Keep them on the... There we go. <laughs> Everything's cool. fine. Okay. So this, we got a compost bucket. Composting. All right. And there's our florets. Another. Nice. Okay, so I do want them fairly even. So this is a great size. What is that? Seven inches? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Measurements mean nothing to That's me. That's a massive but, cauliflower. I want to call that a medium floor. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut them similar sizes. So you want them all about go, the same. Ish. Pick your favorite size and make them all match. Well, I get like in the beginning, I know this is only going to last five minutes, but in the beginning, I'm going to be precise. And by after one minute in, I'm going to be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Just cut on. <laughs> yeah. To each or their own, can, right? Yeah. I think you were talking last time about making it your own. Absolutely. You know, however you prefer. Definitely. Everyone has their preferences. And to be honest, my kids always loved it when they were like unevenly done because in some get like super brown and crispy. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I generally make, if not a double batch, a triple batch of this. Hey, Alan, can oh. you move this camera down just a hair? Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. It's, there we go. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, I don't right off head. Head. Yeah. Yeah. I know it cuts the head off a little, but we couldn't see what you, uh, Josie was doing. Oh. All right. Thanks, so Paul. I can change cameras. <laughs> No, that's, that's good. Cool. So we've got our cauliflower on Compost. the baking sheet. All on the baking sheet. Cool. You got some parchment Take paper on there. Sizes. Yes. Uh, that's what I learned it. last week. That that does make a difference. Okay. I'm interested okay. to see your technique for cutting a bell pepper. Oh, it depends on my mood. You know, I usually go <laughs> like this. Can I show you 
Well, well okay, wanna... I've heard someone do this where they go around the inside. Uh huh. Yeah, I, so Jamar taught me a bell pepper cutting technique mm -hmm. that like changed my life. And Jamar was one of the old hosts of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm interested okay. to see yours. You well, we, maybe you should get another pepper and show us the alternate. Okay, I'm gonna go grab one. Because we can put two peppers on here. Yeah, okay. Teach that one. Okay. I, and this is too funny because we were talking about Jamar's pepper cutting method today at the library. <laughs> <laughs> I just get out the guts. <clears throat> Oops, I forget we have a compost. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here. Sometimes I cut it from the butt. Yeah, I see what you did. That's a good technique. I don't know. I'm curious what this is. Okay. Yeah. We want them in strips that are not going to cook too much faster than our florets. Right. So these are gonna be pretty big. Pretty thick so they don't cook super fast. Exactly, right. and then I cut them in half this way. So oh, they are okay. The tricky part is some vegetables cook really fast and then some don't. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So yeah, it works sweet. So you got them kind of like in half and it's thick yeah. slices. Not the normal pepper. Right. Okay, let's see, come on over. All right, should I come over here? Yeah. Okay, so I used to hate cutting these because I just the seeds, and I never knew quite how to approach uh -huh. it and make it easy. And then I learned, so you put it on its side, uh -huh. right? Can we see? Yeah. And then you just kind of cut vertically. So you make your first incision vertically. Uh -huh. And then from there, <gasps> you twist the bell pepper and you just kind of, if you can oh, see, yeah, that's right. turning the bell pepper. And I'm actually, it's always a game. Can I get the whole bell pepper <laughs> cut in one? Uh -huh. You know, it's like trying to peel an orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I just turn, <gasps> turn, turn, and at the end, I don't know where I'm pointing this, but you can see that I have the top and the bottom, and I have just like and we can almost a whole up. bell pepper here that I can nice. now cut however I want, which is to Excellent. me was really exciting because I was that like, yeah. is. But your technique is good too. I don't know. Two great techniques here. I still <laughs> had to dig those seeds out, and yeah. they end up. I always throw them towards the container, and they do end up all ahead? over. Yeah. <laughs> So that was an exciting one for me. That is nice. really groovy. Yeah. And look at how easy it is. That's nice. nice oh, right? I, and I like bell peppers. They're so fresh. You know what I mean? Just, mm -hmm. You know, by the way, that I think we have a lot of North Bend teachers watching. Today. I do. I see their names. Yeah. Welcome, North Bend. Hi. Teachers. Yes, welcome. Josie teaches art at Josie's Art uh -huh. Lab. I used to teach. My whole family was teachers, you know. So that's awesome. Educators, we love it. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, hang in there. Rough time of You're year. You're almost there. You're almost done. <laughs> Thirteen more days, right? I have a t not. I'm not counting down, but I have a child who loves school, but is still counting down. Everyone counts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we're going to make our kind of like dressing on top. Dressing. Or, yeah. Uh, dressing. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. It's, um, it's, so, Stephanie said it's okay to eat the pepper uh, seeds that they're good for you. Really? Nice. A pepper bush isn't going to grow in my tummy? <laughs> that was a joke about a Never mind. <laughs> okay. So I'm using a uh, Pyrex because it has the handy dandy measuring. But you can use a bowl. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna uh, take Josie, one moment. I think Micah has a question. Sure. Oh, great. Um, just to clarify, it's only one bell pepper, right, in the mix? Yes, we added two because um, I wanted to see. I had to show off, so we added two. But uh huh. Yeah, right. one bell pepper is perfect. Yeah. Good question, Micah. Thanks. Thanks. Right. Thank you. Okay. Now, when I'm doing a double, I do about a third of a cup. I think for this, what do I have? Olive oil. Three tablespoons. I think you had three tablespoons. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So three. Three tablespoons. You had one fourth of a cup of olive oil. Okay, let's do it. Well, one fourth of a cup. Quarter cup olive oil. Sweet, got our olive oil. And then, right. oh, do you guys have a? I always roll my uh, lemons. Actually, Get more juice, like, more oh, for okay. my squeeze. Oh, roll roll the lines too. Do I have 
same Some amount. You probably might have gotten just lemon juice, like in a container. Yep, that'll I work. Out a lemon. That'll work. I always you use know. the fresh, but a yeah. lemon juice will work. Okay. okay. Joanne and Steve add that you can also grow new peppers from the seeds, of course. Oh, oh yeah, right. I'm going to add all of this, but just so I have a measurement, what did I say? A lemon, we said three tablespoons of lemon juice. Great. Cool. We're just going to do the whole lemon, right? But yeah. I like it tangy. Put those at home, three tablespoons about. It's not good. a little grain. Oh. Actually, okay. do lemons go in the pot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got our olive oil, we got our lemon, peppers and cauliflower are waiting. Yep, right. oven, hot, the hot and ready. Hot. Yes, if you logged on late and you're cooking along, start preheating your oven at 450 or 475, please, depending okay. on the heat of your oven. This is exactly my storage system for my spices. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> is that a peanut butter jar? Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. A teaspoon and a half, I think, is what I have. A teaspoon and a half. Of salt. You said one teaspoon. Okay, but, yeah. You know. Loosey-goosey here. Uh, not... A little too much sometimes. <laughs> 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 one time I actually added not enough salt to my hot lava. So the next time, I overcompensated. Mm -hmm. Both bad. Both bad. That one, I'm like half a teaspoon. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then... I'm using, so that was salt. I added a teaspoon of salt. I'm adding a teaspoon of cumin and coriander, which. One teaspoon each? A teaspoon each. Now, if you have got coriander seeds, because I think I wasn't really clear on that, you can grind it yourself. If you're feeling bold and brave, you could clean out your coffee grinder and grind them in there. Of course, you might have coriander flavored coffee tomorrow Which, who knows might be a new thing might be a good thing <laughs> um or if you leave it out it's going to be fine too yeah or do so. mortal and pest mortar yeah too right but yeah so we have coriander seeds at the co-op and we have ground coriander the ground coriander is what we're aiming that's for. what i meant yeah, yeah. yeah. so so a mistake a teaspoon of well mine you guys did exactly what i said oh, well. <laughs> Uh, teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of coriander, cool. and then where are those pepper flakes? A little pinchy pinch of this. Nice. Give it a little heat. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll even just make like a double batch of this, and when it's done, I toss it with feta and pasta. Oh, Another yeah. lovely. I put them in wraps with like... That sounds like a really fast, easy dish for like a weeknight. That's what, yeah, if it's already in the fridge, pre-roasted, a little sprinkling, a little sprinkling of pepper, pepper, oh, yep, chili flakes, avocado, yep, here we go, it's all in there, oh. <laughs> and then you can use a fork or a whisk and just kind of get that all friendly together in there. Well, yeah, friendly. That's good. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how I was gonna finish that sentence, so I appreciate that. that. Yeah. Oh. I could go south real fast if I start just winging it on finishing sentences. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna keep this. Sometimes that salt likes to settle at the bottom. So pour it over. Oh, it's gotten kind of thick and nice. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. Okay. Do you and ever then, mix this all together in a bowl and then put it on the baking sheet? I, that's one more bowl. Aha. Uh -huh. But you could. Yeah. Well, what I do then, oops, I'm going off camera here. Okay. I can use my hands, right? Yep. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, I usually them. just kind of um, massage it in just so every piece gets some, some saucy goodness. Nice. Okay. Go so see, I'm assuming the answer is yes, but I should ask you, uh, Joanne and Steve wanted to know if broccoli could be substituted. You can. I've never done it, but I would. Would it I'd cook totally about as long as the, about the same as the cauliflower? Faster. I've roasted broccoli before. I've never roasted it in this combination, but I think it cooks a little faster. I tend to find broccoli goes faster. Too. I think so too. Oh, okay. Me, I'll we'll turn it on right there. It makes it a little crisper. I like it. Which is yummy. Yeah, yeah broccoli true. a little crisper. I do like broccoli. Yeah. Have you ever tried any different vegetables besides the ones we have oh. here? 
we, in this particular in recipe? In this particular recipe, yeah, whatever I have. Yeah. I mean, I'm a sucker for butternut squash. I mean, our family will roast, sometimes they're just olive oil and salt, vegetables, trays of vegetables. That's like our weekly food prep. Nice. Because it's good to melty cheesy sandwich or in a wrap or pasta, like with pasta or in cool. some sort of in some sort of bowl thing. Got it. Nice. Okay. It's going in? It's going in. Now, just like last time, we want these veggies to be a little spread out so they're not steaming. They're roasting. I'm going to put it in for like 30 minutes. About 15 minutes in, I'm going to check on it, stir it, if it's starting to get a little crispy. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be back. Cool. All right. So put your veggie uh, pan in the oven for 30 minutes, and we're going to check in on it in about 15. Cool. Okay. How's everybody doing? Does anybody have any questions at this point? Feel free to unmute or put them in chat. You know, I'm kind of wondering, Paul, I don't know if you anybody in the spot, but I wonder if this would be a good time for Stephanie to give us some knowledge, maybe about cauliflower or bell peppers. This might be an opportune moment for that, if she's up yeah. for it, of course. I think, yeah. Oh, always up for it. Um, I think um, I, would, I would go with the bell pepper, like, right off the top of my head. That's uh, particularly red bell peppers, because uh, the red bell peppers are fully grown and mature. And so all of their nutrients have reached their peak potential. And they may be a little more expensive, but they also are more nutritious and sweeter and more delicious. And I'd be, I don't know if, if you're like me and you eat a green pepper and you start to like burp or something, that's because they're not really um, mature yet. So oh, green peppers, orange, yellow, they're okay. But those red peppers high in beta carotene and um, really good, uh, good source of vitamin C. And I like them just plain old raw dipped in hummus. Yum. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So I don't know if this is a dumb question, but there are no dumb questions, right? So are green peppers going to become red peppers as they continue to ripen? Wow. I, yeah. I had no idea either. <laughs> And so they so they turn they turn yellow and then they turn orange and then they turn red. So huh. this yeah, is it's nice the... to let them go all, all the way. You can buy green peppers that don't turn, um, but that's sort of a relatively new. I mean, that, that's not the normal. The normal pepper starts green and then matures through to the red stage. Awesome, hey. thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I had no idea. Thanks, Steph. Good and idea, cauliflower Tim. too is a cruciferous in. vegetable. Um, provides um, anti-cancer. <laughs> so um, it's you know they people say because it's white it doesn't have any nutrition, but that's not true at all. Yeah. You said you have a question. Um, I just want to know how far into the process you guys are. So, cauliflower's uh, in the oven. Uh, preheat the oven. That's as far as you've got. No, no, no. No, the cauliflower is in the oven. So that first. No, that's what we want to know how to do, do it. Right now, do it right now. <laughs> no, it's cut fine. It, cut it into one inch pieces. Chop it up into pieces. What do we turn well, it into? Like one inch. What? 350? No, like 475. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four. I'm not, I'm nothing if I'm not hot. <laughs> 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 then, then Lisa, you're going to put some parchment paper on your baking sheet. And Can I use aluminum foil? Because I don't know if I have parchment paper. Do you have or parchment just put paper? it on your sheet. Just put, it, just on put it on the sheet. Okay. That's what okay. I do. Yeah. Put it on the sheet. And basically, okay. the once you've cut up your cauliflower and your bell peppers, if you have the ingredients list, everything else basically goes in the dressing that goes on top. So the olive oil, the cumin, the coriander, the salt, the pepper, will all get mixed together in a bowl and poured on top. And then that'll go in the oven with the vegetables. Okay. For 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to prep my bread. The bread. One of my favorite I? things. <laughs> bread. No. Yep. Nope. It's what? Hmm? Oh, I thought someone said, I thought Lisa was saying, do you put bread with cauliflower? And I just wanted to stop real fast <laughs> red will be separate okay yes i'm uh avocado or, oh great or I'm, got it cool okay interesting cutting technique right off the bat more surface area so you're cutting at a diagonal here i don't know if anyone can see i think they can yeah we can see it cool more surface area nice yeah i always just go 
what would it be? Left to right? I don't know. But the diagonal. Just thing. yeah. Yeah, right. So Josie, it looks like you're making semi-thick slices, right? Yeah. What would you say? What is that? Another oh, oh, inch and a half, maybe two inches. <laughs> I think it's about half inch on this side and about an inch on that side. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Micah. Uh, <clears throat> so um, at the co-op. I just got the sourdough loaf with garlic. It's already pre-sliced and has like garlic inside. Is that good to use? Yeah, that's going to be delicious. That's gonna yeah, be that's awesome. that's probably Empire Bakery bread. So that's going to be really yeah. good. Any <laughs> bread? Yeah, any bread. With, we're going to cut it with some thickness. It looks like, and probably any size really. Kind All of right. Thickness, right. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll just use the slices you have there, Micah. Mm -hmm. And one thing maybe you can't see uh, is that we're taking the bread slices and we're laying them out on a baking sheet right now. So you'll take those slices. Yeah. yeah we're just I've kind of created. arranging them face down on a baking sheet. Yeah, for now. For over now. Boom. So Micah, since your slices are a bit bigger, you might want to cut them in halves or fours. We're just going to make crunchy toast out of these to slather our hot lava on. They're yeah. simply a vehicle. They are so, a vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a way to shovel the dip in your mouth. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and you can do anything here. You can butter each, like you can butter both sides. But what I like to do for a little extra fancy treat is I basically, well, let's do it here. Cool. So you're going for the garlic here. I see. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. All right. It's the best. Okay. So for garlic, I know I'm kind of, this is this is how I live. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think I told you. The worst ways to live. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I smashed my garlic. It just makes it easier to peel. And that peel Smash comes. Smash it, cut off the ends. Yep. And then that peel comes right off. Nice. And then where's the garlic press? Did I see why? Garlic press. No? That's okay. Okay. Let's mat let's um and mince it. Or mince the garlic. <laughs> mince it. All right. Mince your garlic clove. So you just did one clove. For this, That's yeah, just one okay. clove. One for clove. The, for the other recipe, we're gonna need five. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. More garlic. Here's another thing. I am very particular about my knives i don't know how you guys feel but these are more like i know people with sewing scissors are monsters about anyone getting near their sewing scissors mm -hmm. i don't know if even that's how i am about my knives i don't want to ding my blade so anytime i'm scraping i always flip it over you use the non the non-sharp the non -sharp. Oh, yeah okay. Here. kind of scoop yeah otherwise. yeah so a little hot tip yeah maybe it doesn't even matter i don't know Okay. It does because it keeps you from cutting your hand because I, I got a new knife and that's exactly what happened. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. They're, I'll they're pretty sharp. They can yeah. be. That's <laughs> a good tip. So, again, this is what I do if I have time. If it, you can even just toast your bread like super crunchy, but this is our little, uh, it's almost like crostini, right? Okay. So, I poured some olive oil onto my garlic. Yep. Okay. And now I'm gonna boom, uh -huh. boom, and slide oh, it. Over. All right. Boom, nice. boom, slide it over. Get a little garlic on there. Nice. Yeah. It's it ends up being a lot of olive oil, but you know, there's worse things? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, ideas about what's good and bad for like food wise seems to keep changing on me. Sure. Yeah. Egg's good, egg's bad, egg's good again. Okay. Hard to keep up. Yeah. So right now. We're lathering the bread. Yeah. Maybe there's a little extra over here. Okay. Cool. Okay, now which, one, which one is the coin under? Yeah. <laughs> which one is, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. Okay. So I'm gonna set this aside. When my timer goes off that tells me 15 minutes are up and I'm going to check on my cauliflower, I'm going to pop that in the oven as well. Nice. Okay. So Renee gonna, asked if you're doing uh, both sides. You did both sides of the toast. I did both sides. Yeah, Rub good question, Renee. Tape. 
rub and flip, massage, massage and flip. I like to get that garlic in there. Yeah. This one could use a little more oil, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Everything. No problem, Renee. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Put it aside for now. Put it in your handy Tim's hands. Everyone has a <laughs> Tim at home, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's rinse some beans. All right. Cool. All right, get your beans. We're gonna rinse those now. Huh? Oh, baby. Oh my. Well, I don't know. Am I doing? This, I think I know how to do this. <laughs> well, we, have, we have boxes on the shelf. Oh I can God. easily trade this for. Okay. You know, I have, oh a, I got I have it. that I got exact it. can opener, and every once in a while, if I don't hold it at the right angle, it doesn't work. Yeah, can yeah. openers are tricky. They are. If I need to go trade, just try to go trade it for the boxes. I think I got it. Just I think it. I got oh. it. Maybe. Oh, my God. Got it. Oh, I got it. Oh. I got it. Oh Rassle that can, Josie. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. It's a race. Can I open these two cans before Tim comes back with two boxes? <laughs> I think he's going to win. <laughs> you might get one. I have faith. I don't know. I, this feels ineffectual. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh, my gosh. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. I can't do it. Is that one of those no, no sharp edges opener? Because no idea that I know that it doesn't work on all cans. I'll just tell you, I've had the same problem. I had to go back to a standard can opener. Yeah, I, I have. That's what I have a standard can, like the ones from the '70s that my mom's kitchen had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've tried other fancy ones, and I just I can't do it. Back to what works. So I have a quick question for you. Ah, uh, you're kind of tossing these beans in with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, why are you draining them? I don't want that liquid in there. Why not? I, because I don't. It, because <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be too moist. Okay, all right, that's a good, that's a good reason. Because I actually slime is just I'm just yeah. uh, it's good for you slime. <laughs> sure, I like, but it will change my recipe. I often use dried beans that I, you know, soak and cook in like mm -hmm. a whole pound at a time. And then I divvy them up into containers and put them in the freezer. So you could try it. I'd be curious to hear what happens. I think your spread would be very liquidy though, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, I just wanted to be sure that it wasn't for, because they don't like the slime because the slime's good for you. Interesting. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Steph. So, so everybody at home, drink their slime. Is that what you're saying, Steph? Uh, <laughs> yeah. you uh, 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 <laughs> It's really good thickener for soups and things. So oh, it actually yeah, actually acts as a thickener. So it, it shouldn't make things more watery. But, um, you know, some people just don't like it for some reason, but they don't realize that it's just fiber that has dissolved in water. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, well our can opener was bad, but we have boxed beans to the rescue. Uh, awesome. Baby. And I grabbed the last two, so it was very lucky. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. That was lucky. All the cans were gone. Everyone's buying white beans for this oh, recipe. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I have these at the ready. I can just set the trick here, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hand your trash to your Tim. <laughs> <laughs> this going to be my new favorite Identify show. Identify your Tim <laughs> in your household. <laughs> if you don't have one, go out and get a Tim. <laughs> Tim's come in all names. <laughs> you can all get a, a Tim of any name. Okay. We have about, I have three minutes before my 15 minutes are up. I'm going to look at my cauliflower. All right. See. Sounds good. Cool. Oh, it's looking good. Okay. I'm going to grab it. Show you. Where's yeah, my? Right up there. Cool. Yeah. It looks like it's Stop charring up a little bit. Yeah, charring. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Does oh, the yeah, cauliflower go ahead, Lisa. just go in plain, nothing on it? No, you oh, put the sauce over the cauliflower and the peppers on the baking sheet. What sauce? <laughs> That's the part we missed. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at the ingredients list under roasted cauliflower and peppers, aside uh -huh. from cauliflower and peppers, there's olive oil, lemon juice, cumin, coriander, salt, red pepper. That, all of that is the, uh, the stuff that goes over it? Yeah. Do you have ground coriander, okay. Lisa? 
Yes. Okay, yeah, you're gonna mix that all up in a little thing and then pour it over your veggies. Thank you, with yeah. olive oil, right? <laughs> yeah, olive okay. oil and all those other things. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, no problem. And just feel free to ask as we go along. Okay, I can see that my cauliflower is getting close to done. So here's the thing about these crunchy toasts. I just look, I just keep an eye on it. Sometimes I broil them, like if I'm in a hurry and flip them halfway through. But since we've already got the oven going, I'm popping them in and I just want them to be crunchy and crispy. I may still flip them halfway through. We'll see. Okay. In the oven it goes. Cool. So and Joanne, Steve have a good question. They asked, are there actual beans named white beans or are they any beans that are white like navy? I've always wondered the same thing. I would assume it's any beans that are white because the beans we got had a name. Cannellini. Yeah, they were cannellini. Sometimes there's navy beans. I've seen great white beans. Yes, yeah. great white northern beans I think I've bought before. Yeah. Yep. So I would assume they're just a generic term for any beans that are white. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Okay. okay. We're not positive, What's... Joanne, but we think they're all white beans. <laughs> That's our uneducated. <laughs> yeah. That's yes. yes. That's yes. yes. Okay, so my bread, I'm gonna set my timer again for like, I don't Timers know. Timers are important, aren't they? Well, kinda. Yeah. I no. mean. Whenever I don't set a timer, it's always bad. <laughs> it <laughs> never works out. I'm setting it for six minutes. Cool, six minutes. Uh, for the toast. For, for the toast, for yeah. The toast. And my cauliflower is still in there cooking. So I'm clicking start. Six minutes. Could need more, could need less, could be all flip them. You know, everyone's right. oven is so different. I'm yeah. always baffled by like, after this many minutes, it should be done. Like, I feel there's so many inconsistencies with, yeah. anyway, so. Okay, well, this takes, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. I think we'll start it. Yeah, let's go for it. Do it. I think we'll start. So we're starting the white bean hot lava yeah. spread now. Once okay. after about ten minutes, it has to go in the oven, and we don't technically have room in the oven. So we want to make sure. So this is a. But we should at that point. Okay. Yeah, it's a game we're gonna play. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. Yeah, okay, okay, let's do it. All right. Roll the dice. I, I will take um, five cloves of garlic. Do you guys have a garlic press? Um, I don't know. I've never okay. used a garlic press. That's okay. We can mince Everybody that. who works in the deli's probably gone for the night. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're long gone. They've been long gone. I can help you, though. Okay. We can both work on this. I would think they have one because I think all your soups have garlic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not for me, but for the folks at home, describe what a garlic press would look like. It actually looks a lot like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Except it's got a little bucket. I mean, you know it's got what got that little pocket. Yeah, like a well. It cuts it together. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm That's sure okay. there is one, but. And back back to white beans. Uh, Stephanie said different white beans are different sizes, and some may be more buttery or firmer, but they all basically have the same nutrition. Thanks, Steph. That's okay. I got it. Cool. I think. Okay. So I'm peeling the garlic in the same way that I did the previous garlic. You could do them all at once if you wanted to, but, but. smash, slice off the butt. Then it just kind of slips right out of the skin. Usually, <laughs> not always. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta wrestle it off. Yeah. Scrape it with your fingernail. Some, yeah, yeah. some of the varieties that they really yeah. stick on. Yeah, they really do. I know, and then your hands get all sticky. Yeah. But then they smell like garlic for the smell rest like, of the evening. I know, evening. and I used to hate that. <laughs> and I, used to I used to work in a French restaurant, and I used to have to chop up a bucket like this big of yeah. garlic. It had to be, you know, hand mint. You probably couldn't mm -hmm. wash that smell off your hands. Oh, no. no it'd be, uh, it'd be <laughs> on there for days and days. My kid sent me a meme the other day, and it was like a kid going like this. It's like when you ask your mom to get you a slice of apple and it tastes like garlic. Because <laughs> you know, we don't wash stuff. We're just like, yeah, we're here. <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's accurate. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just going to start by quickly slicing and kind of just roughly chopping, mincing as um, getting it as small as I can, as small as I have the attention span to handle. Cool. So chopping it up the smaller, the better. Slicing it. And is then it, I'm 
I'm just going to, yep. Slice, chop. If you, if you have a, um, a garlic press, that'll make quick work of it. But this, this doesn't take that long either. And of course, you could add less or more garlic depending on your preferences. Sure. We did five cloves, right? Five cloves. I'm not messing around. So tomorrow's here, you probably need 10. <laughs> Everyone's got their thing, right? Some people love a lot of garlic. Okay. This um, Here, compost. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not compost. There we go. Okay. All right. And I'll take the olive oil and I'll make the salt. Okay. So I'm going to take about three tablespoons, quarter cup. What did I say? I think a third cup. You said uh, third. In the bean. Yeah, one fourth. I might have said a third cup. before. That's okay. Part of the recipe, to be honest uh, with you. You know. Approximately a point. quarter cup. Yeah. Quarter cup. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to add my minced garlic. Oh, baby. You want to eat this up yet? Yeah, we'll, we'll turn it on. Like medium, medium high. We have our olive oil and the garlic in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put a pinch of red pepper flakes. Or, I mean, you know, again, personal taste. Have oh. you turned the burner on yet, Josie? I haven't, but, oh. but you could. I know, that's kind of irritating. Like, no, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> okay. So in here olive oil, garlic, red pepper flakes. I'm going to turn it on to about medium, ooh, medium, medium high-ish. Yeah. Okay. Um, this thing usually needs a little more power. So if you okay. want, we could even turn it up. Great. Yeah. Good to know. Um, and I'll take a wooden spoon, that slanty edge job right there. Right beautiful, here. beautiful. Um, oh, actually, we could slice the cheese too. Yeah. So normally when I make this, I have pre-grated um, cheese just because of all the cheeses to grate. Why is mozzarella so hard? It's like sticky. It wants to glop Clump together. Up, yeah. yeah. Very sticky. So do we have a smaller knife, like a curing sure. knife? This one. Renee said her kitchen's starting to smell great. That Ooh, awesome. good. Yep, this is perfect. Cool. Okay, so oftentimes without that pre-shredded cheese, which this is fine too, I just slice it fairly thin. It melts pretty easily. Oh, nice. that was the timer. <laughs> Pause. Let's, let's look at our toast. Let's reassess. Shall we? <laughs> let's check our toast. Sure. I see aromatic steam coming out. Yeah, there's some steam coming out. Okay. <laughs> our see what it looks like. It's ready for a stir. It's getting nice and charry. Mm -hmm. I'll take a spatula or some. That okay? Yep, that'll do. I'm just going to toss it. Oh, yeah. It smells good. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at, oh, look at that crispy goodness. Oh, <laughs> more please. More please. So how do we know when we need to toss our veggies, Josie? Um, it starts Starts to get some of that crispy. Like I'm seeing some of this black on yeah, the I see that. pan. There's a little bit of brown pieces on the. When I flip a cauliflower over, I can see a little crispy brown yeah, okay. there. Gotcha. So I want to make sure it gets all over. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's going back in. Now I'm going to look at my toast. All right. They need more time. I, I gauge it by how crunchy it is on the bottom. They're just starting to crisp up on the bottom. I'm going to put it in a little bit longer, and then I'm going to flip up. Cool. OK. All right. I'm spreading out the Oh, great. Thank spreading you. Out the love. Thank you. OK. So while this is going, I'm going to slice, I don't know, cup and a quarter, a pound, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the message for us to memorize. Like, I do, just, I one do. One and a half cup, but actually, I mean, yeah. you make this so much. You oh, Micah, did you have a question? I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, so, uh, first off, is the cauliflower and bell pepper still cooking? Because we, 
flipped him up, but I think okay. So they're still. Did, did you stir them? Uh huh. Yep. I, uh yeah. So I stirred them up so the cauliflower and the bread is still cooking. Yeah. Yes. yes. And then uh and then for the pan, it's a uh, quarter cup. So far in the pan, we have a quarter cup of olive oil, five cloves of garlic, and some uh, and or mozzarella. No, I didn't add mozzarella. I'm just pre-slicing the mozzarella. Okay, got it. Thank you. So I have red pepper flakes, garlic, and olive oil. Now, if, it's, if your garlic is minced through a garlic press, it's going to get burnt quicker. These are in bigger pieces, so but they're starting to get too burnt. I don't want them to burn. So now, I'm just going to set it aside for a second. Okay, thanks. Kind of, I jumped to that mozzarella step, so I, I sorry if I threw you off. Oh, that's all right. Okay, I'm getting... Tomato. Yep. Three ish tablespoon no three tablespoon ish mm -hmm. three ish tablespoons of tomato <laughs> yeah. i don't think it's gonna fit i'll no. take that little spatula okay here we go so so we're putting tomato paste in the pan in with the pan the garlic with the peppers with the pepper flakes and yep. the olive oil yep okay cool. and then i'm gonna kind of it's it'll stir i'm kind of making a sauce cool. if you will and then I'm gonna take a half a cup of water. And that was about three tablespoons of the tomato paste? Yes, three okay. tablespoons. Gotcha. Okay, it's slightly incorporated. It doesn't wanna, you know, it's oily, so it doesn't Very really important. wanna. Yep. Sure. Okay, in goes half a cup of water. Stir in a half cup of water after your tomato paste. At and then it quiets point, down, all the sizzling yeah. stops. <laughs> My heart rate goes back down. Sometimes <laughs> it gets going really fast. <laughs> now, if you wanted to add some chopped spinach, fresh spinach, you could. Ooh. I sometimes go too far and want to add like, oh, I'm going to make this even healthier and add a whole bunch of spinach. Would not recommend. You, I went too far one night and it, yeah, it wasn't it great. It didn't. Y'all are never going to believe what Stephanie said, but she said you could use the liquid from the beans instead of water. <laughs> you could. It's inconsistent, but you could measure it if you wanted to. Absolutely. Okay. Sometimes I use, sometimes I have some leftover broth and use that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. The beans so, are in. The beans have landed. All right. <laughs> Add your beans. Okay. So... Kind of looks like my dad was all about pork and beans in the can. Oh. That's what he was all about. And this reminds me of that. I can see why. Okay. I'm going to let that get a little simmery. Okay. Which already, I can see little bubbles coming up through the tomato sauce. Little bubbles are starting to come up a little bit. So I would take a few handfuls or slices of mozzarella cheese. Vicky asked if we add the spinach now. We haven't done anything with spinach, right? No, oh. that was just a recommendation. If you wanted to add spinach into this, you could. Oh, okay. okay. You don't have to. Okay. No, you don't have to. Good question. Okay, I'm going to put a little more. I'm turning my burner off. So if we if we were adding spinach, Josie, when would we add it? Right, right when we added the beans. Oh, okay. So you could add the spinach if you wanted to throw that in. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. A little more cheese. More cheese. <laughs> I always can't help myself from like eating the cheese as I'm cutting it up, you know? Here yeah. you go. You've been such a good Tim. Thank you. <laughs> my reward. Oh, here's even a it's little bit. Yeah, she, she doesn't feed me again. So. <laughs> you have to give your kid a little something. Give her a little cheese to keep happy. <laughs> so, Joanne, you said Katie, I think as much as you want, but I don't think we saw Katie's question. Yeah, Katie said, I think she accidentally sent it to me and said, how much spinach? Oh, okay. Oh, yes. just a Joanne's handful. Right. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Like a small uh, handful? Yeah, it just really, I tried, uh, one time I added too much arugula. You know, as you all know now, I'm a little loosey-goosey. And it really, 
it wasn't as good as well arugula is a whole nother thing yeah. yeah and a lot of arugula yeah yeah a lot of bitterness was, yeah and i don't think i chopped it so it was a little stringy oh, right. there was a riot at the dinner table i'm a cautionary tale folks <laughs> avoid arugula okay i'm gonna take my burner is off and i think the answer is yes barbara asked if she uses all the cheese now yes yes barbara yes. throw it in there and, and of course too you can eyeball how much cheese you want to put in can depend on you and your household how much you want to have Okay. How much cheese you can handle? <laughs> How much cheese you can handle? I put some crunchy toast. It's nice and crunchy. It looks like maybe the bottom of a grilled cheese. Yeah. That's gonna that's gonna support our our beans that nicely. Support it nicely. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are those done, or are you just flipping them? I would say these are done. Nope, they're right crunchy on both sides. Okay. So if you're if ch check your toast, oh, if it's yeah. crunchy on both sides, pull it out. And this one isn't as crunchy, but it's it's firm. Yeah. Probably crunchy. Now I'm going to check on my cauliflower. All right. See if the cauliflower's done. How's everybody doing? I, I'm going to let that get a little crisper. All right. I know. It's a little risky. You like it crispy. I now, do. This, this is another moment where it's kind of up for personal choice. Yep. Personal choice. If it looks crispy enough for you, then call it done. Yep. Josie wants crispier. And so Josie, it looks like you just laid the cheese on there, but didn't stir it in. I did not stir it in. This okay. is what I've got. And we turned the heat off at this point too. And this is now going in the oven. So the whole thing is going in. Now we probably could have clarified too that it was going to go in the oven. So we do want something safe oh, to put in the yes. oven. You know. yes. If if you are cooking in a pan that that cannot go in the oven, before you put the cheese on, put it in an oven proof, like a glass casserole dish, and then put your cheese on and put it in the oven there. That would be a work. Now here's a question. If, if it's already on there and the cheese is on top, but they can't put it in the oven, can they just keep cooking it on the stove top? I have with never done lid. that. Maybe with, with a, a lid. lid, maybe okay. with a lid, that yes. could work. Let's steam it. Yep. You just there. might not get that like burnt cheese on top. Yeah. Just get that torch. You gotta get, you gotta have your small torch then. Creme brulee torch. Creme brulee torch. You're a little bit lighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got that in the oven. Yep. <laughs> now I, <laughs> I, I put it in for like eight minutes before I start checking on it. So now the best thing is if the kitchen is clean by the time I pull dinner out of the oven, like I would do dishes Success, right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not. Right. Eat cheese. Eat cheese. Eat cheese. Get the wine opened up. <laughs> <laughs> Get the wine breathing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we probably have a little bit of order. While we're here, I'm wondering if, uh, where's Micah? Is he still here? Uh, there Micah, he do you remember when you discovered mozzarella? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to share? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little behind right now, so I'm just trying. Uh, I, my oven's way down there. Oh, so oh God. Yeah. Can I'm we help? To, uh, uh, I think I got it. I just, I'm just a little slow on my pan, but I think I'm good. All Thanks. right. No problem. You'll yeah. catch up. No worries. Yeah. Check on the bread. Rock yeah. star. Okay. Here's the wrap. That's good enough. Ooh. Crunchy garlic. Right. So I will share when Micah joined us for the first time a year or two um, at Community Cooking. Um, he he first he asked us if the mozzarella was supposed to be squishy because he'd never worked with mozzarella before, and we're like yes. Then when he tasted it, I thought he was going to eat the whole thing before he put in the recipe because he's like it's so good. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the salt in. Uh oh. Oh, that's okay. What if we salt? Afterwards, yeah. yeah, we could try it. Yeah, well, I was just thinking because mozza mozzarella is a little bit salty. One of my kids made this the other day, and they put Monterey Jack cheese on it, and it was wow. just a little bit bland. And I thought to myself, it's probably the salt in the mozzarella. Hmm. Sorry. If if folks are a little behind, Josie, where would they put the? When would they put the salt in? Uh, when we put the beans and the like, when we're stirring the tomato sauce, it all happens pretty fast. Right before the beans. 
Anytime before you put the cheese on, really. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we're making that sauce. That's what it would have been. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. But ah. That's all right. We might just yeah. salt the taste later. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to try it later and add the amount of salt. Uh -huh. Or maybe it's your good. guys are a little bit behind and that ship has not sailed for you. Yeah, and also the beans might have a little salt in them too. That's true. Yeah. 50 gram, uh, milligrams of salt. See, so maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And Steph was saying both the canned beans and che cheese contain salt already, so you yeah. might be fine. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have a question for you. Oh, okay. I thought of a question. I thought of an answer for your last question last time. Oh, really? <laughs> Whatever. I, I was love to hear yeah, that okay. too. Uh, we have a bunch of teachers in the house. Who uh -huh. is your favorite teacher growing up? Oh. That's and what kind of kid were you growing up? Oh, <laughs> uh, not great. Not great. You know, Remember a cautionary tale. No, my sister, who lives in rural Minnesota, where we grew up. She was telling me about her nephew, or my nephew, her youngest. She's like nine. She's like, Josie, I think he's a sociopath. Like, he just lies for no reason. And he just punches his brother for no reason. And I'm like, well, Tessa, some kids are just like that. You know, I used to be a bad kid. And she said, yeah, is that supposed to make me feel better? You made our lives awful. And I was like, oh, I do think that would make you feel better. She's like, sure, you're fine now that you're an adult, but man, those 10 years growing up were terrible. So does that answer your question? What kind of kid was I? Yes, yes. <laughs> do you have a favorite teacher? Yeah, probably Miss Frischman. Nice. Uh, she taught English literature and was the, she was the drama um, teacher, the director. Coach, yeah. She was the drama. I was, did a lot of theater in high school, so she was probably nice. my favorite, yeah. It is amazing how much kids change from and, like middle school or younger uh -huh. or even high school to like yeah. adults they wait a minute josie yeah. barbara asked when cilantro <laughs> you cilantro. oh i at the end i taught i can sometimes toss cilantro with my cauliflower oh okay the very yeah end. yeah the very question, barbara good question you had us worried with that question for a moment yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> i don't have sometimes like this is my pantry meal you know um so if I don't have cilantro, it goes bad so fast. So mm -hmm. off. sometimes I'll omit the cilantro. Or if I don't have a pepper, sometimes I just do cauliflower. Or, or Right. So um, it can be changed and modified depending on what you get. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you teaching to rule followers here? Teachers are rule followers, Joseph. Oh. I need I need to know when the cilantro needs to happen. Oh, well, Good point. After yes. the cauliflower, immediately after the cauliflower comes <laughs> out of the oven. Okay. That's when I would sprinkle it with cilantro, chopped cilantro. We Thank you. Can... You're right, in classroom you probably can't just always be like, just do it however you feel like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question. Yeah. Yes. On the recipe thing, it just says a fourth olive oil. That's for the beans. It doesn't say cup, teaspoon, tablespoon. Oh, oh that's a cup. That's a, a cup. A fourth of a cup. Thank oh, you. Yeah. yeah. Not a quarter of a bottle. Is, okay. is it going to be bad? We mix the cilantro in with the cauliflower no. and I'm baking it. No. Okay. No. Thank you. And so, I mean, yeah, actually, you tell me. <laughs> oh okay, you will. Steph said you can, Steph said you can grow follow. cilantro in pots year round in Coos County. <laughs> Renee said not all of us are rule followers. And uh, <laughs> Michelle said cilantro never needs to happen. LOL. Uh -oh. oh yeah, yeah. Love it, it, right? We found that out. Okay, let's see how much time we have on our clock. Oh, two minutes. Let's yeah. just look and see. Is cilantro the one that some people think tastes like soap or yeah. something? Uh -huh. and I thought I heard that's a genetic thing. If you think it tastes like Ooh. soap, that's in your that's genetically a thing you have that other people don't. Okay, done. <gasps> look at the crispy. That goodness. is pretty crispy. Oh yes. baby. Okay. Yeah. Now, my, this is what my bean dip looks like. This is not done. We want it to look like molten hot lava. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven and I'm gonna flip it to broil. Okay. And there's cooked. Cool. Okay. So we need a good. brief broil. Brief broil. Michelle said there's a su support group for cilantro haters, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> There probably is somewhere, I'm sure. 
I don't know how you eat a traditional taco without cilantro and onions, though. Oh. Good point. Good point. So where's my? I'll take yeah. that. Oh, we got a little blackened even there. Oh, baby, yes, just a bit. I wouldn't want yeah, it too much the... darker than this. Yeah. Looks perfect but to like, me. Ooh, this little crunchy bit right here. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's eating that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. And so. Once it's out, is that pretty much done? That's mm -hmm. cool. So the vegetables are done. basically all set. Crunchy toast, done. done. Vegetables, done. Done. Nice. Dishes, check, check. done. In theory, in theory, in theory. In theory. In theory. <laughs> Dish, Lava, just done. almost done. <laughs> okay, I put broil on. Now we're just waiting. Cool. Broil is always a dangerous gamble, too. That's really bad when I forget that I put something in the oven. You have to watch the broil. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. That's when I run it. fastest to the oven when it's been like uh -huh. seven All minutes. All of a sudden you something. smell oh, something. You're like, yeah. was I? Yeah. You know, Joanne added the veggies would be um, good with tomatoes too. When, when I was eating this yesterday, I was eating it with some cherry tomatoes, some little. Oh, yeah. yeah very good. That would be really good. And uh, Ruth Ellen added that she's poured her wine. Well, you're, you're in good company with Joanne and Steve there. Mm -hmm. I found some of the ovens have a high broil and a low broil. Yeah. I always use the low broil because it gives you that extra time to run back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I always just automatically do the high. Actually. Micah, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, did I miss the part where we added our lemon juice? That was in our sauce for our cauliflower. So when we put the olive oil, the cumin and coriander in a bowl or a measuring cup, then I added the lemon juice and then I whisked it really hard and I poured all the cauliflower before it went in the oven. Uh, Just do that when, when you're, did you forget to add it or did you uh, miss that part? Uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, added all the other stuff, but I missed the part, but. Um, Just squeeze, drizzle a little bit over it when it comes out of the oven. All right, got yeah, it. So just drizzle yeah. a little over your veggies when they come out. Yeah. Perfect. Now the challenge is not to. Not to pick it. Not to eat it all. Yeah. All right. Bye, Emily and Suzanne. Enjoy. They said, thank, thank you. you. It looks delicious. We're about to try it. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. That's one of my coworkers, Emily, and her oh, family. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, see what broil does? <laughs> Dangerous, I tell you. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, it's perfect. Nice. The first time we had this, we were watching Lord of the Rings and my daughter ran, she said, oh, wait! And she ran downstairs and she got her elven ring and sunk it in there. So it looked like <laughs> right after the thing. All right, it's ready. So let's plate these babies. Yes. Awesome. So, yes, they are. Okay. How's everybody doing? So usually Excellent. we just put the cauliflower and our crunchy toast. Jamie, did he finally shave? And then we all huddle around mm -hmm. the pan and scoop Looking it Looking good. Off. Looking right. clean cut back there. So it's like. Sorry, I had to give Dana oh. a hard time. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. We'll plate is... up. Oh, let's let. Let's see that, Katie. Oh, nice work, Katie. Nice work. Play? Uh -huh. um, oh, and Eric, please, if yeah. you guys uh, remember, send me pictures of your completed meals. You guys all have my email and your Zoom confirmation. Uh, we'd love to see pictures of your completed meals before you eat them. <laughs> okay. Show me how it's going to be done. Okay. With this toast. Teach so. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is usually... How I do it. We got our. I need a spoon. This will do. Maybe a spoon. Do you have a spoon? Stacy said, "Awesome! I'm totally eating that." <laughs> Going overhead. Okay. So usually, All right, we'll see a Steph. Steph got her 5,500 5, 5, steps in, so she, her heart is happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cauliflower, crunchy toast. All right, Renee. We'll be here we next month. Huddle around the pan of hot lava. Awesome. Enjoy, y'all. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's saucy. It's garlicky. And then maybe nice. we're, depending on 
want, you might sprinkle a little more salt. If you you could. Oh, it. yeah. Let's taste that. It. If it's even needed. I'm afraid to taste it. Look at that. It looks like hot lava. I <laughs> know. I know. It's dangerous. <laughs> mm. It could use a little salt, but it's okay. But it works. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a spoon okay. and just try the hot lava first. Mm -hmm. I could use a little salt. Cool. Exactly yeah. one half teaspoon per recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Lisa, like how y'all doing? What am I doing properly here? Yep, hover. 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 We help. Hover around like a fire, like we're all like <laughs> camping. <laughs> yeah. In the apocalypse. In the apocalypse. We're trying to catch up. No worries. Let us know if we can help you get there. Yeah, okay. definitely. We're still cooking yeah. the beans. All right, no oh. worries. We have a no cook left behind philosophy here, so you're in good <laughs> hands. I like Perfect. that. Darla said it all works, looks wonderful. Boy, does it. Okay, here, are you ready for that? I would mash these beans even. Like, there you go. I guess when I kind of mash the beans uh, up. Hey, are usually, um, all right, sure. thanks, y'all. Have a good night. Enjoy. Bye. Isaac. Bye, Isaac. How long do we cook the beans on the stove for before we put the mozzarella on it? Uh, Just until it's bubbly. Just until it bubbles. Yeah, just until it bubbles. Not super long. Make sure to put your salt in. I forgot. Yeah. Lisa, you got your tomato paste in there too, right? Yes. Okay, great. Great. Have a cup of water. Yep. Oh, yep. You want to aim the phone over here? And then oh, here. No. You have to take it over there. We don't know what we're Lisa doing. Said, the other Lisa... Lisa H said, thank you, everyone. This was fun. So did Barbara. Thank you, <laughs> y'all. Oh, all right. It's coming along, Lisa. Mm. What do you mean? Oh. We're taking a picture of this. Sometimes we'll have um, for breakfast next morning, fried eggs and I spoon a little bit of that on the pan to warm it up. Oh, it that sounds good. <laughs> Vicky said, thank you. It looks amazing. I didn't get frustrated like my painting, LOL. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I must have taken Josie's class. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the teachers that were here tonight had. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, another question. Do we bake the bread or broil it? You can do either. I put it, so if you broil it, you're gonna wanna broil it until it's, keep an eye on it. You want it crispy on one side and then flip it and have it crispy on the other. I just put it in while the, the last half of my cauliflower was cooking. Okay. Okay. So we'll Either one it. will work. Either way, as long as it gets crispy, I think, probably. Okay. Crispy, crunchy. Yeah. And Thank Patricia wanted to know if she could see a, a plate of the finished meal. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Avocado. I got, I got like a Simba moment. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what was that? Sorry, oh, Patricia. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got it. Thank you. I'm off the line, kidding. Off topic comment. <laughs> Do you know Lion King was based off Macbeth? Yes, or I Othello. did. Macbeth. No, I did. Yeah, Macbeth. I don't remember now, but I did know it was a Shakespeare. Yeah. Were you an English teacher, Tim? I was, yeah. Mm. I had a feeling. Oh. Everyone loves an English teacher. Yeah, well. said, That's thank you, looks it. good. Yeah. No problem. Oh, nice. Yeah. Get some yeah, good me. pictures in here. See, where's that little raw bread? Even that? Look, at, I'm seeing these little juices here. Ooh, that's going to need to be soft up. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody else need any help finishing? How you doing, Micah? Oh, I, I'm just about to, I'm just about to finish setting the table and getting it all on. And then in a minute, I can show you the, my finished plating. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that was a photo op. Mm. Yes. Yeah. That's just how Josie eats. <laughs> 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 
You guys, don't forget to send me some of those photos. Where did I put yeah, my phone? Yeah, definitely. Oh, I hope it's not here. My, oh, here. My kids like to randomly take pictures of me. And this was the most recent one. Hold on. Art class. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait. Here. It is how I eat. Eating a big piece. <laughs> I can see you're shoving something in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers will just photo, like, just take pictures of you at your worst moments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I always scold them, and then I'm like, let's send that to me. It's really funny. <laughs> 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 the lesson gets lost there. <laughs> Yeah, nowadays you can end up in a photo at any moment. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How is it, Tim? Delicious. Nice. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, I was telling these guys earlier, somebody brought me a sample they made early uh, yesterday. And I, I don't think they knew about the ground pepper because there were coriander seeds in there, but it was still good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The veggies were still good. Oh, good. Was he crunchy or like a flavor bomb when you got to them or yeah it had it had a little good it had a good flavor like with the lemon and the um cool. coriander yeah i didn't i don't remember if it was crunchy or not but i remember there were like seeds in the bottom you know mm -hmm. yeah still really good that was nice of that person oh yeah okay hello hello hello, hello. uh, uh Okay, so I just finished, and I think how do I swap the camera? Like, uh... You know how to reverse it? Uh, yeah, hang on, Wim. Oh, there we go, okay. Nice oh, job, baby. Micah. Oh, man. Yum. Good work. Perfect. Micah, can you take a picture and email it to me before you start eating? Oh, jeez, he's got to yeah, make it. People Thank that you, of... appreciate that. All right, thanks. You can send uh, me the so, picture later, but take it before uh, you eat. <laughs> got it, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to head out. But, okay. Okay. Oh, good <laughs> job, Micah. Bye, Micah. Bye. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> These vegetables are really good. I yeah. Patricia yeah. said, oh. excellent. Thank you. Another good recipe. Thanks, Patricia. Sometimes I, I double the sauce, so then it's saucier, and then when you toss it with pasta and feta, it, like, creates a sauce. All right. Yeah, I know. Those are great. Or like we'll make um, wraps or burritos, but instead of like traditional Mexican agreed, we put that and like um, some doll. So, um, I know Lisa's working on finishing. Jennifer, Patricia and Michelle, how are you guys doing? Linda, are you cooking along? I just realized our cook for the next two months is with us. No, I'm not cooking. I'm just watching. Awesome. You want to tell us a little yeah. bit about next month's recipe? Uh, sure. Um, uh, it was taught to me by Jardin Kazar. Ooh, and local it's cook. a very popular, easy uh, side dish to bring to picnics Thanks, for the Michelle. summer or potlucks and highly nutritious and very palatable and it, it it's a dish that really cleans your palate it's very yummy it's called hop and john salad Ooh. and it's a black eyed peas yeah with some good. roasted and veggies roasted right vegetables yeah awesome. she dropped the sample off and it was very very good mm. oh i'm glad you liked it <laughs> yeah. i wasn't sure if you wanted that or not <laughs> oh no, i appreciated that absolutely yeah it looks yummy Thank you. Thank it's you. gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I should have all that stuff posted tomorrow. Oh, anytime. And thanks for sending me the pic, Linda. Oh, no worries. Okay. All mm. right. So I know I think Patricia and Michelle are good. Jennifer, are you cooking along or just watching? Maybe she's not there. Lisa and company, how you guys doing? Awesome. Stringy flies 
Oh, but it's delish. Mm -hmm. I love, well, love roasted vegetables. And of course, when when we planned this, it was wintry mm -hmm. and cold. This is a perfect like like dead of winter. Oh, fast yeah, totally. Cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watching the Lord of the Rings <laughs> marathon. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you're really getting into it, plus you the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the garlic or all the red juice and rice. We like to watch that sometimes during winter, yeah. October, Halloween time. Mm -hmm. kind of long. Yeah. We'll, we'll see who's hungry in the co-op. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Lisa, let us know if we can help you finish up. Oh, wait, you're muted. I know. I just realized I thought what I said. I go, oh, I'm talking back to him like he can hear me. <laughs> no worries. We're in the zone. <laughs> Good. I do not recommend cooking the cilantro. <laughs> okay. Do not recommend it. It looks Sorry. slimy. It's gnarly, man. It's gnarly. It, it probably will be fine, though. It tastes fine. Yeah. I was going to say, it might taste good. <laughs> just, yeah. just don't look at it and like yeah. judge it because that's where it went wrong. No problem, <laughs> Michelle. We'll look forward to seeing you next month. Michelle said, thanks, Paul, Josie, and Tim. See you next month. Bye. Right. Bye, Michelle. Okay. Now I'm going to go like this. Now I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Make it look pretty. I just had it sitting on there. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are finishing up there, Lisa. Yes, we're just waiting for the stuff to cook in the oven. Okay. The bean. Is it beans? That, right? The, the hot lava? Yeah. Okay, when I saw lava, I thought we were making like a lava cake and chocolate. I was <laughs> expecting chocolate. All I saw was the word lava. The ingredient list didn't surprise you? <laughs> I didn't even look at it. All I got to was lava. I was like, ooh, this cake is for dinner. made a taste in a chocolate cake. This is crazy. See how they pull this one off. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure there probably are people that eat cake for dinner, but. Gladly. I've done it. <laughs> and so your email is on the uh, Zoom link? Yeah, it, your Zoom confirmation has my email. It's piatis at kuzbaylibrary.org. Okay, so you're from the library. We were yes. trying to figure out, are you, is it, we were trying to figure out who you were. We we're like, I don't know that person from the school. Yes, <laughs> I, I am the host, um, but I'm I'm at home doing this on Zoom. But yeah, I work at the Coos Bay Library. I'm a librarian there. Well, thank you for putting this on. Yes. Oh yeah, like I, as I was telling Josie and them, uh, next month will be our three year anniversary. We started this in June of 2020. Oh, fun. Yes, right, there right. When the pandemic hit, I hit up Jamar at the co op, and we started this program for something for people to have something to do once a month while we are all we isolated. Go. Oh, good. But, but yeah, it's just been definitely. so popular and so much fun. We're just going to keep doing it. That's amazing. Yeah. We have the whole library. Um, you have a YouTube. Now I return it to Boreal. Oh, yeah. I and uh, as Alan was saying, Lisa, the, the, on the library's YouTube yeah, channel is three years of uh, uh, cooking uh, videos. Yeah. Boreal. I just have stacked the. Perfect. We're going to do Boreal. We want low. Oh, I guess I should have kept that. I'm holding the bread bags over here. Okay. And then we just want to watch it so they get a little toasty. I feel like our pan could have even been smaller. But hopefully the cheese will. How's it going, Lisa? Are we the last ones? Are, are you guys just waiting on us? Well, it, uh, yeah, we, we just want to make sure. That do you want us to wait or? I, I don't know. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. You can flip the camera. Oh my gosh. I get, yeah, I can, huh? You're going to, you're going to make them like motion sickness. <laughs> 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 okay. So can you see it? That's the bread. Uh huh. And that's the lava. We should have yeah. used a smaller dish, but that's okay. What's your oven at? 
It was at 400 and now we have it on broil. It was on four, yeah. Four, 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 five. Yeah. It was on 475 for the cauliflower stuff. Then we turned it down to 400 for the bread and the right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now so we like just turned that off and put it to broil on low. Smart. Smart. Yeah, you okay. should be done soon then. Okay, perfect. Well, you know, we're, and, we, and we don't have to wait for you if you think you're good. I think we're good. So we'll take a picture when it's all done and we'll send it to you. Appreciate that. Thank you so all much right. for joining us tonight. Yes. Thank you. Sorry we were so late. We were getting No, no, our no. Videos. No, this is fine. <laughs> this this is why we're here. Josie, he helped us get all our ingredients because we were amateurs knowing what to get. Yes. Okay. Everyone needs a Tim. Everyone needs a Tim. <laughs> and yes, because we said he was our personal shopper. It was amazing. Oh my goodness. That's oh hey there. Oh, hey, bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> hi Aaron. <laughs> She said hi. This is my little one. Hello. Oh. <laughs> is it a Lila? What's her name? Oh, maybe you don't want to say. Addison. <gasps> Isn't she adorable? Thank you. It looks like a mini. <laughs> looks like you're woke up. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, well then, if you guys, guys think so you're much. good, um, all right, yep. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. If you guys think we're good, we'll go ahead and sign off now. Perfect. Thank you. All right. You all have hey. a good evening. Enjoy your lava. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks, Josie and Tim, as always. Awesome yeah. job. Thanks, Paul. Oh, yeah, of course. My pleasure. Where? Oh, leave. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. High five. Good job. Woo! Got it. Oh, I forgot to stop the recording.